Anywho, what is up guys? It's your girl Bobby coming at you with a new video. I hope your digital marketing agency is thriving after watching our previous videos from this series. And to further help you, in today's video, I will show you how to build a landing page for your clients. So let's get started. Landing pages are the least popular type of sign-up form, but they have the highest conversion rate, 23% compared to the average form's 10%. So why isn't every form a landing page? Simply put, making a landing page is a whole thing. You need to design it, A-B test it, and make sure it works on different screen sizes. It often involves input from multiple departments, especially when you're making landing pages for your agency clients. The approval and optimization process can be tedious. That's why I'm here today to show you how I make quick landing pages and what metrics I look for when I optimize them. But before we get started, what even is a landing page? A landing page is basically a web page that people land on, hence the name landing page. They can land there after clicking the link in your emails, your ads, or your social media posts. It's specifically designed to convert people who land there into customers. The conversions you can typically design a landing page for are registrations, email subscriptions, webinar registrations, call and booking appointments, downloads, and e-commerce purchases. So what are landing pages used for? Landing pages are used to convert clicks into leads. Unlike your website that can be accessed from many different channels, a landing page is something that lives in your marketing campaign. You can use landing pages in social media ads, Google search ads, and your email marketing. A landing page is not something that pops up in organic search results. It is not a part of your website. It almost exists in a vacuum, a perfectly optimized and A-B tested vacuum. So what's the difference between a landing page and a website? A website is something for visitors to explore. There are many places to click, resources to check out, videos to watch, and articles to read. A landing page is more focused. It exists to funnel people toward one specific action. Here's a list of things you typically don't find on a landing page. Firstly, a navigation bar. You don't want to give people options. You want them to do one thing, and that one thing is linked in a big bright button. Secondly, multiple traffic sources. While various parts of the website can be accessed through various channels, a landing page is a part of a specific marketing campaign. While various parts of the website can be accessed through various channels, landing pages tend to be campaign specific. People land on them after clicking on ads, emails, or CTAs. And thirdly, one size fits all messaging. Landing pages are made for specific campaigns. All messaging is created to sell one product to a target demographic. A study shows that addressing specific buyer fears increases conversion rates by 80%. How to build a landing page for your marketing agency clients. Creating campaigns for clients is the second most important responsibility that agencies take on. The most important responsibility is keeping everything organized. Combining these two is how people get stuck and overwhelmed. The landing page builder I will be using today to build my landing page has built-in functionality to help agencies streamline the process. It has over 200 free templates that you can edit. And did I mention it's free? Because it is. So here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can build a landing page in under an hour. Firstly, you need to pick a landing page template. To get started, head on over to Involve Me and grab a free landing page template. You can pick a template for two reasons. Firstly, the design. If you like what it looks like, you can just fill it in with your own content. And secondly, the functionality. If you need help setting up accepting payments on your landing page or creating logic branches, use a template that already has that functionality. Of course, you can edit all the functionality and the design, so no matter which template you choose, you can make it work. Templates are just shortcuts. Secondly, add your logo, text, background, and font. You want everything to match your client's brand. 
In Involve Me, you can control everything from layout to custom fonts and even button roundness to match any brand. Thirdly, personalize your content. According to a recent study, personalized CTAs convert 203% better than the default version. The simplest way to personalize your landing page is by using your visitor's first name. Saying, book a call, Stephen, is so much better than just simply saying, book a call. And if you're sitting on the other side of the screen thinking, Bobby, I am no tech wizard, how am I gonna make that work? Well, I'm not a tech wizard either. What I am a tech wizard in though is dragging and dropping. You heard that right. All you have to do is drag and drop to make this work. Come on in, let me show you how it's done. To call your landing page visitors by their first name or any other personalization information you want, like order details for example, you will need two things. Firstly, you need to already have this information. This only works for leads that you already have in your database. It will not work for new visitors that you have no information about. We're not about to stalk people to get this information. And secondly, you need this information in a channel that you're distributing the landing page with. So if you're sending a marketing email about a webinar and you want the CTAs on the webinar's landing page to be personalized, all the personalization information needs to be in your email tool. Click hidden fields in the top right corner and then click on add hidden fields. Then under contact data fields, select first name. You will then get this little snippet that you will need to add to the link to your landing page. But before you do that, wait, do you see how it says input here? That's just a placeholder. So unless you want everyone to be called input as their first name, you need to replace this with a personalization token from your email tool. This is different for every email tool, but for example, I'm using HubSpot and in HubSpot, it looks like this, contact.firstname. I found this by searching first name token in their help center, which works for most tools. Fourthly, preview your design on desktop and mobile. If your landing page doesn't work on mobile, it doesn't work at all. Over half of the world's internet traffic comes from mobile devices. So unless you're using your landing page in an ad restricted to desktop, preview the design for mobile screens as well. If the background doesn't look right, you can upload a different one specifically for mobile devices. Fifthly, publish your landing page. Once you're happy with how everything looks, hit publish. This will let you know if there are any errors in your project. So for example, I forgot to add a button to this page, so I'll get a message telling me what page the issue is on. Once that's fixed, you can move on to publishing your landing page. On this page, you can set up the URL, which you can just type in and leave it at that, or you can select a generic domain to hide the Involve Me branding. You can also use custom domains on higher plans. To set up automated emails, tick this box. You can personalize the subject as well as the text with any information you collected. Just type in the at symbol and select first name, for example. And lastly, optimize, optimize, and optimize. Making a landing page is not over once the page is live. Making a landing page is never over. The more data you collect, the more informed changes you can make to the landing page. Businesses that use optimization software for their landing pages see an increase of 30% in conversion. So let me show you the optimization software I use. This is the analytics section of Involve Me. To get here, click on the little arrow icon on the landing page you made and select analytics. The key metric to keep your eye on before anything else is the completion rate. It shows you how many visitors you converted. If you've set up an email, it will show you the email open rate here. If it's too low, the easiest way to fix that is to personalize the subject line as I showed you earlier. If you need more help making emails, I've made a whole video specifically on that. So click over here if you wanna check it out or it will also be linked in the description below. Upping your completion rate is a bit more challenging. The more complex your landing page, the more factors you need to look into. You can see your conversion funnel on the detailed metrics page. If there's a steep drop between your visits and starts, that means there's something wrong with the design of the first page. 
This means that nobody wants to click on anything on your page. Maybe the button is too low. Maybe the images you selected are too large and take forever to load. Maybe there's too much text and it's not scannable on mobile. Have a look at your landing page and look for reasons why people aren't clicking the button. Or maybe ask a friend to have a look at it and see what feedback they can give you. If there's a steep drop between your starts and all submissions, there's something wrong with your form. Specifically, it's the first thing you ask. All submissions means people leaving behind any information, answering any questions you ask. The most common reason people don't make it to completed submissions is because you ask too many questions. Most people answer the first question before they get bored and click off. But if your visitors get stuck here, it means they're not even doing that. They're not even answering the first question. So there's something with how you ask it and what information you ask for. This is a common case for job application pages. People read the job description, they get enticed, they click on the apply button and the first question they see is to upload their CV. If they don't have a CV ready, they click off. And the conversion funnel has a steep drop between starts and all submissions. If there's a steep drop between all submissions and completed submissions, that means you're asking too many questions. This metric means that people answer some of your questions, but not all of them. How do you know how many questions are too many? Scroll down to question funnel. Here you can see how people gradually drop off. If there's a steep drop between completed submissions and leads collected, this just means that people don't want to give you their email. This can mean that what your landing page offers is intriguing enough to make people click, but not enticing enough for people to give you their email. The way to fix this is to make your landing page offer enough value to justify asking for an email. Lead generation is about equal exchange. Make the offer worth sharing private information for. And there you have it. That is how you can build a landing page for your marketing agency clients from start all the way to finish. And all of it can be done in Involve Me. You can make amazing content on the platform and keep it organized and streamline the process. So if you wanna try Involve Me, I have a discount code for you where you can get two months for free after creating an account. It is linked in the description below, so make sure to check it out. If you found this video helpful in any way, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really help us out. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when we post our next video in this series. Thanks for watching. Bye. What is happening in my brain today? Haskell Musical is a bop, 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 bop to the top. I need to stop singing on these videos. I need to go pee so badly it's friday i like fridays i really like fridays okay i really need to go pee okay bye